Hi, I'm Dan Gooding, and this is the West British Wire Property Market Update, Christmas 21. <music> 2021 has been a remarkably strong year given the challenging circumstances, and at the start of the year, obviously the schools were closed down and uh, we saw a very slow start to this year. Rightmove are reporting nationally the highest level of completed home sales since 2007, which just shows nationally what a strong year it's been. Well, it's yeah, been even more of a bonkers year than last year, which we didn't expect at all. This year was terrible start to the year. Schools closed in January, um, and, and it was pretty miserable in January. But as it's turned out, we're 30% up um, at this point on what we did last year, which is incredible. So many people are working from home and, and home doesn't work for them and they need more space and they need offices. That's a massive part of it. Because people don't need to be close to a place of work, then there's more freedoms of where they can live. So a lot of people that would never ordinarily move, say, into villages or into the countryside um, are doing that now. So a lot of the villages surrounding West Bridgeford, Ed Walton are becoming quite popular and we're seeing the same sort of price increases that, that we're seeing in this area. The East Midlands is the fourth highest performing area in England with house price increases of 8.6% this year alone. In fact, here in West Bridgeford, on average, house prices have risen 20% since the start of the pandemic. See, house prices didn't do a huge amount between, say, there was a big spike in 2014, 15, and then sort of 16, 17, 18, 19, all a bit crap. So, so anything in that period, you know, they didn't really go up, but it's since that period, because of COVID and because of this massive demand, they've gone up between 30 and 40% since 2012 in West Bridgeford. It's just crazy, isn't it? I know I often sound like a broken record doing these West Bridgeford wire updates and talking about huge levels of demand and a lack of supply, but of course, COVID has made this a lot worse. Some of the stats that Rightmove have released recently uh, really show uh, the difference from where we are compared to 2012. Looking at the stats, there is a record low available stock uh, with seven out of 10 properties advertised currently on Rightmove are advertised as sold subject to contract. Compared to 2012 when just two out of 10 were listed as sold subject to contract. On average, each branch in the UK has half the level of stock they had available at this time last year. But the good news is that valuation requests are up 19% on this time last year. That indicates that a lot of people are getting ready to put their house on the market in the new year. As an agency, we have a huge amount of stock market ready, which means it is just a click of a button away from being active on the open market. Boxing Day is the day that the portals like Rightmove and Zoopla see the traffic triple and it's uh, a day where a lot of vendors want their property to be made active. Well, the valuations have been quite busy for November and December, which means people are, are getting ready to, to put their houses on. The, there's a lot of people that want to move, but don't want to put their house on until they see something they like. Someone has to take the plunge, because if no one puts their house on the market, then there'll be nothing available. And I think a lot of people have realised that they're not going to benefit hugely from waiting. It could be another two years before um, house prices um, stop going up and they get themselves a bargain. A lot of people have just decided now to get on with it, put themselves in the best position. They may have missed out on properties because they've gone to view something, made an offer, but they weren't on the market, so they were completely discounted by, by the vendors. So I think we'll see next year a lot more stock coming on with a lot of people that are seriously motivated because they finally made a decision they're going. So my predictions for next year is that the market will remain very strong. I think we're looking forward to a very strong first quarter with um, a lot more properties coming on the market to balance up that supply and demand. This month we did see a very small rate increase. It was the first rate increase we've seen since the start of the pandemic. Um, and I don't think that will affect mortgages and, and people's affordability in any way, really. So we're looking forward to a very strong 2022, and we're just hoping that restrictions uh, stay as they are now and, and certainly don't get any worse. So I'm wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I look forward to seeing you in the new year. Stay safe. Mm -hmm.